G'day everyone, welcome to this episode of All The Bricks. Today, I'm going to get in the first one of these Skeletor heads. Uh, especially this one because it's Trapjaw. Um, and he came out, he was one of the first of the sort of second gen, sort of, I think. Um, and yeah, I won't be getting another Trapjaw until Snake Mountain, which is one of the last sets. So, I want to get this guy out and have a look. Because Trapjaw has always been one of my favourites. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the first time I've had one of these. I'm going to open it. I've sort of seen them done by people. It looks like it just opens up here. Yep, and then rip that off. There's nothing else in there. Okay, and the back just comes off. Well, bits. We have a figure that's in pieces. All right, we'll try and do this one, eh? Get those little bits of the rubbish out of there. Okay, so we got looks like bits of the uh, laser cannon. And more bits. Oh, quite a few in this. And there's our trap jaw. These instructions have a quick sticky. Okay, so pretty good amount of instructions. I'm definitely not going to leave you guessing about how this goes together. All right, I'll get this together and we'll have a look. First thing I want to do, but. Before we do it all, I'm going to try and see if this figure will fall together. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, obviously, we have to take that off. Ah, okay. So, there's a peg. Obviously, going to his hole in the back. That's nice. I thought this was all like a um, focus. I thought this was a one piece like the down was molded on there. Um, so that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad to see that. There it goes. That elbow, there it is. Oh, that, that way. Mm hmm. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed on, focus. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed on is that there's no bend in the elbow. Don't know why I couldn't have done that. Anyway, let's that bit on. Okay, oh, they actually put the legs on the center post. At least that bit's done for you. And there it is. So hopefully. Front. Ah, see, nice little click. That's in. Easy as that. That's what, as I said, Skeletor just did not do. Okay, let's see this focus. Yep, that looks like the right way round. Okay, that's all on. And then just simply. And there, yep, stops twisting, so that's all the way on. Just move this belt up a little bit. You said they were right. Okay, what's a tiny little head? It all comes separate, There's little teeth.
with the ridge band on Who wants to get on there Someone wants to fight Okay, sort of got it sitting on there and, and of course his weapon I was being first tight these are really tight all right and there he is together my first trap jaw in this size I did have the original trap jaw once again it was one of my favorite characters and the reason this guy's green as I'm sure most of you know um, this is the way he came in or was drawn in the original um, comic book that he came with which of course always was you know confusing at the time but I was sort of used to it by then that you know different characters just were drawn different colors for some reason and at the time being a kid didn't really know or care just knew that hey, it was meant to be trap jaw but his colors were all wrong so it's really good to get this alternate version just as a one-off so I'll get the rest of it built and we'll have a look at it all together Okay, and here's the set all put together. You get a very nice display up here. Even though I wasn't really a fan of how all this bottom part went together, it's very sort of all held together. Basically, those two silver posts on the outside. Of course, we have trap jaw, and then we have that really impressive looking laser gun. Which the other reason why I wanted to get this set out early is because this gun is going to be replacing the one on Castle Grayskull. I'll just pop the Grayskull one off. Just so you can see the sort of size difference. This one on Trapjaw is much more substantial. And just looking at it, it just looks so much like that original one. So I'm really looking forward to getting that and put it on the castle. And here's a quick look at that cannon mounted up on the on the castle unfortunately it's three studs wide whereas this is four studs wide so i may have a look at doing something with that in the future but for now at least it looks like a more substantial laser gun that you can see on the top there and of course you do get extra accessories for trap jaw his claw hook and either spatula or fly swatter whichever one you want to use it for so it's handy to have them. All right, so that's that look at this set with Trapjaw. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.